All right, so this is what it looks like. It's still steaming hot, if y'all can see that steam. Yes, sir. The potatoes is down there in the bottom with the corn. I have my beloved sauce here that I put some to the side for me. Because your girl is about to crush. I added like a stick of butter in here. And I kind of just like mixed everything around. But nonetheless, this is what it turned out. So once everything finished boiling, I put the eggs. And I just drank everything and with, with the strainer. And threw everything into this large bowl. And girl about to crush. Hey YouTube, what it do, what it do, it's your girl Chatty Shay and I'm back with another banger for you guys. So y'all, we on um, quarantine and chill in the state of Virginia. The governor issued yesterday a stay at home order to like June 10th. But unfortunately you guys, for me, my job isn't closed so I have to go to work. I am off today and I'm bored in the house y'all. I'm bored in the house, I'm bored. So I'm going to take a run to the store because um, I'm feeling like seafood. So, I'm going to see what the store got. Your girl got on some bummy clothes, sweatpants, and t-shirt. Um, we are on quarantine and chill. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I got on some bummy clothes. And I'm going to go see if I can, like, make a seafood boil you. So, if I find the items that's needed to make a seafood boil you, then the title of this video will be, How to Make a Seafood Boil You. Okay. All right, you guys. So, stay tuned. Um, for my grocery store chronicles, because y'all know the stores is out here being empty and all that stuff, and you can't really find what you need in the store. So, yeah, this should be interesting. This should be really, really interesting. So, you guys stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I'm in the grocery store. As y'all can see, ain't no toilet tissue or paper towels on the aisle still. I ain't gonna vlog too much because ain't here because uh, copywriting. Okay, you guys, I'm checking back in. They playing music, so I can't really record in the store. But I'm finding everything that I need for the boy you. Um, they didn't have crab legs, so I was able to get shrimp and butter because we're going to try to make the love sauce. Eggs, for, and I'm going to see if they have corn right now, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is what's in my cart. Things are not for the seafood boy you. It seems that are and this is ginger all right so i'm in the grocery store and this is how they have it set up social distancing all right y'all so i'm out the grocery store i'm in my car um surprisingly the grocery store is not packed um i was in and out in about 20 minutes I couldn't record like I wanted to because they play music in the grocery stores, which um, y'all know, YouTube be like, copyrights. So, I was not able to record in the store like I wanted to, but I did get, show you guys my basket. So, I got some things that was going to be part of the seafood boil you because I'm going to try to imitate um, B-Love's life seafood boy you i refuse to buy it on amazon um she's already doing fairly well and fairly successful when i can just recreate it at home no shade but um i'm not going to spend 25 dollars when i can just do it at home so i'm going to do it at home i have the seasons and it's not going to be her recipe to the tea it's going to be kind of shades putting it on it too um so yeah you guys on the way home don't drive and record <laughs> like I'm doing because this is dangerous and it's raining outside y'all but nonetheless y'all and when I was in the store it was like this creepy old dude that was like watching me like maybe I'm just paranoid in this time y'all I don't know but like every hour that I went down he was down which was you know that's kind of mm. um yeah so every hour that I went down he was down right and i didn't have my piece with me if you know what i mean um but i did have other items with me um so i could have protected myself if you know i had to be if you know if i was tested if my gangster 
was tested. Okay. But nonetheless, y'all, I'm in my car safely. And I'm on the way to the crib. I'm about to call Car the Vlogger. And that beef y'all saw in my car FYI because I don't eat beef. The beef y'all saw in the car was for Car the Vlogger because he eats beef occasionally. Um so I did think of him when I went to the store because it was like five dollars. Um so yeah, guys, we're gonna go home. I'm gonna unpack and <laughs> let's get this boy on the road. Alright, y'all, so I'm back. I got the camera now because I have to use my phone to make um B Love's recipe. So I went to the store, y'all know, y'all know what I bought. I bought these shrimp here. Large shrimp. Um, if the light look funny, y'all, it's Carter Vlogger. It's too, it's too much. He got a ring light. It's too bright. So, got my shrimp here. I'm going to put my shrimp in the bowl. And I'm going to put some cold water on it and some lemon. Y'all, stay right here. Alright y'all, so I got my um shrimp and some cold water. And we're gonna pour some lemon on it. Okay, y'all. That lemon is how you clean your food, okay? Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me move this light back because it's too bright. There's too much going on. All right, y'all, so I got my eggs being boiled. I can't move y'all, cause hold on, let me see. Let me switch my angle. All right, so I got some eggs being boiled right here. Let me show y'all. Y'all can, y'all get the picture. I got two, four, I got, two four six eggs being boiled and then i have like 10 ears of corn and then i have my wok here because we're going to make the beloved sauce in the wok and then i have my big pan your big mama pan that um i'm gonna do i'm gonna put everything in you know at one time just so it can like all kind of mix together so let's get started with this um quarantine vlog that was not planned but i'm gonna do it and it will eat <laughs> hold on y'all let me move y'all back all right so i'm not recording on my phone anymore so it's not up close and personal because i actually need my phone to pull up the youtube video that i did i think it was actually my first youtube video that i did um and I did be loves seafood boil sauce. Let me see. Let's yeah, one year ago, y'all. My very first video. Very first video is me making be love sauce. Look, y'all. My very first video. One year ago. Alright, so we're gonna start this thing from the beginning. And I'm gonna watch my own video. And I'm gonna make the stars watch my own video. So, and I know I need some um, like onions and stuff. I'm gonna use a mixture of onions and peppers. It's like in a frozen bag. And I got this ginger here from the store. It's not the pink ginger, but it's still ginger. Like I said, this is beloved sauce with a shade twist. <laughs> All right, hold on, y'all. Let me get the peppers. I right. need the peppers frozen from Kroger. All right, so I got my stick of butter that I bought from um, Kroger. So I'm going to put my stick of butter on. And I'm going to turn this down, actually, so y'all will be listening to me. Okay. So... 
I'm using two sticks of butter, okay? Still in the wrapper, y'all, still in the wrapper. Two sticks of butter, let me put this in the refrigerator so it can stay chilled. All right, my eggs are boiling right now, y'all, so let's get this going. Two sticks of butter. And you need a ton of seasonings, y'all. Y'all have seen me do this before. You need a ton of seasons. Let me speed my video up because it's slow motion. All right. Put your butter in there. And let your butter start to melt. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my other spoon. And I need... All right, y'all, we're going to let the butter melt. My butter melting. My butter melting. Yeah, that's my feet. The floor is, is white and marble. So my feet is doing some weird stuff. So as my butter melt, we just waiting, y'all. I probably cut it off here and then restart it. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we back. So I actually forgot that I had potatoes. So I bought these little red skin potatoes that I just cleaned, y'all. Little red skin potatoes that I cleaned off really well. Because remember, you got to clean your food, y'all. Clean your food. So I'm actually just going to throw them in this the big pot here. That I'm going to combine everything in anyway. And let them boil you because those are going to take the longest. The shrimp are going to be really quick. And mind you guys, this was not supposed to be a cooking video. I just want y'all to know it's not a cooking video. It's just a quarantine and chill and I'm bored video, okay? And y'all just gonna have to bear with me, okay? This video might be 30 minutes. <laughs> Who cares, right? Okay. All right, so we got our, our butter boil. You're gonna take your onions and your peppers and you're gonna throw it in there. Really just onions according to her, um, her recipe, y'all. And I have a little measuring utensil. Um, have a measuring utensil so we can measure our ingredients. So this is a, a half a teaspoon. And basically everything going to be a half a teaspoon. Okay. So let's start with garlic powder. Okay, so we're going to have to measure this out because it got the holes in it, y'all. So let me just say half a teaspoon. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking at my video. Half a teaspoon. Um, cayenne pepper. It's up to you if you want to use cayenne pepper. Mmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to look at the video and look at everything that I put in, in the video in the sauce. Alright, so I did add cayenne pepper. I'm going to add just a tad bit of cayenne pepper, y'all. So I'm not doing a half a teaspoon. I actually just want to do a dash of cayenne pepper because I don't want it to be hot. Um, Obey season, y'all. It's a must. So, because this is a seafood boil. So, I am going to do two. Two half a teaspoon. Just make a tablespoon, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, then you got to do your onion powder. Let's see what the top of this is like. All right, so I'm going to do my half a teaspoon of onion powder. What else you got to put in there? You got to do some black pepper. Yeah, I can never open black pepper. If you like me and you struggle, black pepper. So we're just going to just, that's a half a teaspoon. 
Of course, you need some uh, salt. Hold on, y'all. Let me stir my stuff. And this is smelling pretty high, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at the video. Because I'm missing something that's supposed to change, make this turn colors. It's smelling good. Oregano. Let me find my oregano. Y'all, I don't know. Oregano. Okay. Oregano. And y'all, when I get done, I'm going to actually zoom in on this so y'all can see what it looks like. I'm watching my video. Oh, you need hot sauce. Let's see. So, the recipe calls for Tabasco, but I don't have it. I have red hot. So, I'm not going to pour it in my spoon because I have other dry ingredients. So, I'm just going to do a half a teaspoon of red hot. You need Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Worcestershire sauce. So I'm gonna do, you actually do two tablespoons of that. So that's that. And you need some Miss Dash season. Miss Dash. Focus. Miss Dash is salt free. So, I'm going to do a tablespoon of Miss Dash. Y'all, I got to break it up. Haven't used this in forever. There's nothing really coming out if y'all can see that. So, then we're like, oh my God, she's killing it. No, it's nothing coming out. Okay. It's boiling, y'all, and it's smelling good. All right, Joe, so I know I'm supposed to add some salt to this, and I don't have any regular salt. Oh, well, I do have this sea salt. So let me, hmm. All right, let me add a tablespoon of sea salt. A half a teaspoon of sea salt. This one. Okay, y'all, and you also need some Cajun season. Okay, so I got my Cajun season right here. So we're going because this has a top with the holes in it. So, okay. And we're gonna mix y'all. I'm still watching my video. I already added my oregano. Cayenne pepper, we're not doing. You need some minced garlic. Salt. Obey. Tabasco. Worcestershire sauce, and you need some sugar. Y'all, it's a lot of seasons <laughs> in this. Y'all, your salt level intake with this one here gonna be crazy. All right, y'all. So that is the recipe. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Worcestershire sauce. Add. So the recipe calls for brown sugar, but since you know we was on quarantine and chill, quarantine and chill, and this one supposed to happen, 
I'm just going to add this white sugar. And it says mix until it comes to a boil, y'all. But this is already at a boil. So I'm actually just going to turn this off. And crank my corn up. And I'm going to show y'all what this look like, y'all. Because well, we about to have a seafood boil. Now, I could not get um, any crabs or um, other seafood items. Because due to coronavirus, they aren't selling those things that just kind of lay out. So, we just had to kind of just settle for just shrimp. But we do have the corn and potatoes. And we do have the eggs. So, I mean, you got to work with what you got, right? Okay. Alright, so let me get my cup, y'all. Pour this sauce in. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got my measuring cup. And my eggs are done. So I'm actually going to turn my eggs off to boil you. And crank up this potatoes. Ooh, y'all. Look at this sauce here. I'm going to pour it for y'all so y'all can see. And I'm going to wash this, um... This walk out so I can put my shrimp in here to cook too. And yes, I'm cooking everything separately and then I will combine it later. Don't come for me, okay? Okay, so let's see y'all. Uh, so this is two sticks of butter. Oh, so I got about two cups, y'all. Alright, so this is what the sauce came out like. Look at all the seasons in the bottom. We're going to definitely have to mix this when it's time to eat it. But nonetheless, y'all, I'm about to wash the wok out, put the shrimp in. I'll be right back. Alright, y'all, so we got the potatoes going on right there. The eggs going on right here the eggs i just turned off the eggs they're done got the corn going right here corn ain't nowhere near done got the shrimp right here we about to get those started all right y'all so this is the beloved sauce that i made and i have forgot to add the garlic i mean the ginger so i added the ginger in there so you see the ginger the onions look at the seasons y'all look how it just settled and this is the the butter sauce so most of this is just butter and season and then i clean my shrimp and i have my shrimp right here i'm just going to add some obey to my shrimp i'm going to peel my eggs my potatoes are going my corn is at a standstill <laughs> get ready to crank this corn up and i'll be back hi right, youtube welcome back to your girl channel I am finished, okay? I am finished with this boy, you seafood boy, whatever you call it, because we couldn't get crabs from the store. But nonetheless, let me show y'all how it turned out. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's still steaming high, if y'all can see that steam. Yes, sir. The potatoes is down there in the bottom with the corn. I have my beloved sauce here that I put some to the side for me. Because your girl is about to crush. I added like a stick of butter in here. And I kind of just like mixed everything around. But nonetheless, this is what it turned out. So once everything finished boiling, I put the eggs. And I just drank everything and with, a, with a strainer. And threw everything into this large bowl. And girl about to crush. Your girl about to crush. Your girl about to crush, y'all. Gonna clean up and everything. Okay. So, y'all, um, this was my quarantine and chill video, I guess, y'all. I was just mad, boy. I'm like, huh, let me make a video. Okay. So, anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl channel. I don't know if you'll be able to comment yet. YouTube, YouTube, put my comments back on. Put my comments back on. Put my comments back on, YouTube. Okay, so don't, don't forget to like it, subscribe, comment underneath my Instagram channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend what your girl is doing on this channel. Until next time.